Hey teacher family, today we're going to show you the top tips, 20 or more tips for adding video to Google Slides. Let's get started. So I have here my Google Slides, it's blank, but I have a slide that I want to preview and show you a little bit about why you should add Google uh, video to your Google Slides. So if I present, this is my wife's senior English class and this is our Bitmoji classroom. You can see there's a little TV on the bookcase and there is a video. And so if you push play on that video, it gives you an excerpt from this play, Raisin in the Sun. And so that is to entice students to want to read the book. So video can help uh, uh, advance your educational or instructional agenda. Uh, but we have other slides like the Super Bowl Stadium. We're going to talk about TV in that. And then we have this virtual wellness room. And so we're going to talk about how even a TV or video in the virtual wellness room can play a role. So hopefully you'll see the benefits of these 20 or more uh, tips that we're going to cover. All right. So we're going to cover things like inserting, uh, positioning, resizing, playing options, and appearance options. And then I have a good old-fashioned trick for you at the end. All right, so we're gonna start by inserting a video. So we're gonna to go to the insert menu, drop down to the fourth item video tab, and then we have, we could search YouTube, you enter a YouTube URL, or we can uh, use something out of our Google Drive. So let's go back to YouTube search. Now it really helps if you have the exact title of the video because there's many videos if you type in Shakespeare you're going to get a lot of videos but let's say you want a scene from Romeo and Juliet and this is the Leonardo DiCaprio version so um, we're just going to go I'm going to show you how this works so if we are in YouTube oh that's our channel um, Romeo and Juliet DiCaprio cap there we go um, actually I liked how trailer popped up let's look at that one all right so romeo and juliet 1996 trailer john leguizamo who was in the film and uh two and a half million views so i'm going to leave that right there but i'm going to use this title in my google slide in my google slide for the search term i'm going to paste it right there and lo and behold what we get is that exact trailer um right there and so we're going to insert that highlight it hit the blue select button and then it pops into our um our slide all right we're going to leave that there and we're going to do another option let's say we have uh this video up you can copy the url up here and i'm using command c to copy that on a mac we can go to insert video and then by url and you can paste the url so you're not really searching for a video you're just inserting it all right, and then we have that inserted there. And then there's one more that we can do. We can go insert video and then Google Drive. Now Google Drive will give me a preview of the videos that are in my drive. I have one right here, so I can just double click on it and it will insert the video. And uh, a tip I have for you, this is something people don't know necessarily, is that when, let me undo that. When you insert your video, you might have 400 videos in your Google Drive, um, but if you go to this tab, Recent, you'll find the one that's been recently played inside your Google Drive. So a tip is to go into your Google Drive, search, play the video, and it will automatically populate on this tab when you are in your Google Slides, if it's one of your most recent. And the reason I give you this tip is sometimes these search functions trying to search with certain keywords to find a video in your google drive maybe it's not the best search tool uh known to man but you can also find shared videos uh and and videos that have been directly shared with you or shared with you via a team drive so those are the um the options we have and so now we're just going to look at we've inserted three videos and they're all the wrong size, they're overlapping. So we're gonna look at positioning and resizing. So the first thing I would wanna do is when I hover, uh, excuse me, let me back up. When I select a video, meaning I'm clicking here in the white space, and then I hover over the video outline and I click and I see a blue line around it. That means that I have selected that. Now you'll see that sometimes the arrow is a four headed arrow. And sometimes when I move off, it's, it's a regular cursor. And then sometimes it's an arrow with a one direction uh, 
on that arrow. And so the four headed arrow means you can move the video up or down um, just by dragging. Now, um, I'm going to move this all the way over here. And then I'm going to select the one below it and I'm going to move that video. There's the four headed arrow. I'm going to move that right there. And now we get to this. This problem is if I want all three videos to be uh, visible, moving them doesn't just help. I need to resize them. And so that's what you see when you get to this uh, single headed arrow on the corners. When you hover over the corners, you can see it's a four headed arrow there. But I just moved ever so slightly over the corner and I can drag click and drag and then I can resize the videos and now we have the power of um, really using the um, the position and the sizing options in Google Drive so I'm just clicking on the corners and you'll notice that there's these little red lines that appear when things are aligned and so these are the alignment tools in Google Drive and those are very handy I'm going to resize this all the way up here and you'll notice those red lines are snapping too um, when I get them uh, to match the other edges that are around. So that's a handy tool. Um, so right there, I see that red line that pops up shows, hey, the bottom of these videos are lined. So, um, and again, I'm using the four headed tool to move, four headed arrow tool to move. And if I wanted to resize these, I use the single head arrow that shows up when I, uh, Hover over the corner. Okay, we've covered inserting a YouTube video by YouTube search, by YouTube URL. We have also covered by Google Drive and using the Recents tab. We've covered positioning the video uh, using the four-headed arrow to drag. Uh, and then uh, we've used the uh, covered the alignment tools. Um, now here's a cool thing. What if I wanted to move both these videos? I like how these two videos are aligned but I don't like them at the bottom, I want them at the top. I can click and drag over both. You see the blue line is over both. And now the four headed video, uh, four headed arrow allows you to move both at once. So that's super helpful. So let me show you that once again. Let me align this up here. We're gonna get these all about the same size. What if I want these centered? I click and drag over all these and you get the, um, the blue outline. And now I'm gonna just click and drag with the four headed arrow. The red crosshairs aligned when it's centered. So it's not just a vertical line or horizontal line, but it's crosshairs. And I let go and then we have all those centered. So those are some of the tools for uh, resizing and aligning videos. Now we're going to get into some of the cooler things here. We're going to go to my wife's classroom. Um, when you click on the video, you'll see format options here. It pops up in the side pane and we get these um, fine tuned controls. So one of the things I wanna show you is with appearance, you can add a drop shadow. So I'm gonna unclick that and it's very subtle, but it just throws a little shadow, a little gradient underneath uh, the, uh, the, the, um, the video here and it helps blend it in with the background. Now, one of the things we see on this slide is my wife has artfully, I'm gonna move this here. She's artfully put this video over the top of a TV image that she's downloaded. So it creates the illusion of the kids are watching the video inside a TV. Um, so she did that by using resizing and positioning tools. Um, but you can actually use the gradient or the drop shadow to create that uh, illusion as well to help uh, kind of give more three dimensions to, um, to your Bitmoji classroom. Um, now, uh, we talked about overlaying the video here. That's just done by order. So if you have um, the, the objects hi highlighted, you can bring to front, bring forward, send backwards, send it back. And so here we've just made sure that the video is on top of uh, the object that we want it to appear a part of. So let's take a look at um, something a little bit different. Here we have a Super Bowl kind of football stadium at night uh, lit up. And let's say I want this effect of a flat panel TV sitting on that field with a video uh, outlaid. So here I'm just going to go insert image. I'm going to upload it from a computer. And this is in my downloads folder. And um, it is right here. So I'm going to center that. It's, uh, looking for the red horizontal line. I'm going to actually move it down. Oops. I'm going to actually move it down so it looks like it's uh, on that uh, field. 
uh, right where you notice these are kind of blurry uh, the grass right here and right here it's in focus so i'm gonna put that tv right where it's in focus i'm going to add a drop shadow there and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert this video so what i did is i um, tested this out video i'm going to go back and i'm going to search i'm going to say best high school football plays and the resulting one is i'm going to look for um let's do this one four minute videos i'm going to click on that highlight it in blue and then select and now you see it's the wrong size but if i click the corners and drag it down now i can use the red lines to align it with center and i'm just going to kind of play a little game here where i stretch it out a little bit uh, and then realign it and now if i hit present we have that football stadium actually we can tell it's a little bit off here now here's a trick you highlight it and you use the arrow key so i'm going to just bump it down with the arrow key instead of the cursor and check that and the that alignment's better it's kind of cool the background is black up here black up here and the border is black behind it on the tv so it creates this illusion of watching the video uh on on the tv and there we go and this is something you can create an effect for your, your students to kind of enhance now you notice on this slide i bumped up the size of the tv so that the viewing size was bigger all right last thing we're going to show you is an old oh very quickly let me just show you this uh auto start at a certain point so when this is highlighted the video you click format options now you can start the video at a certain time code you don't have to have it start at the right right at the beginning there's a two minute 21 second clip um, and i'm going to have it start at 41 seconds and so you notice uh when you go into present mode and then you play that the show on the end of it when you talk to and me right there it starts right where i want it to not at the beginning of the video all right uh let's uh go to some old school tricks let's go to the virtual wellness room now this is something that has to do with video but it's not entirely video it's audio and so i'm going to show you how i can insert an, a video to create an audio effect here and i'm just going to go to search i'm going to say yoga meditation music and this one uh the first one I'm, it's 714 minutes long. I'm going to highlight it, hit select. Now it puts a TV up here. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to say autoplay. So when the student loads the slide, it's going to start to play. Uh, but here's the thing. I don't want this video to be seen. I want them to look at the room. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the size and I'm going to use these arrow keys just to arrow down. Actually, I'm just going to put 0.1 and then I'm going to enter point one and what that does is it turns that video into such a small area that you can't see it but yet when you present it auto plays the tune now here the video you can see it's up here i'm actually going to move it into another area um, where it won't be seen so i'm going to where it won't be as noticeable so i'm going to just do the resizing thing now, when you use your um, your cursor, it becomes a little bit hard to manipulate at the very end. So that's why I'm going to put this down in the shadows of this table, and then I'm going to do point um, point one here and point one here. And now, when we um, present, you can see it's very small. It's down here. It's playing, and I could do a better job of matching it into the background. But they hear the music. And it's like there's yoga music playing or meditation music playing in the virtual wellness room. Well, that's it for me. I've showed you some old school tricks about hiding the video and using it for audio, repositioning, resizing, inserting, and changing the appearance a little bit and combining it with your background. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, leave us a comment, and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye.